What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru today. And today we're gonna to take a look at this 2017 Subaru Outback equipped with Subaru's EyeSight technology. We're gonna take a look at one specific feature of EyeSight today, which is adaptive cruise control. Let's go take it out for a spin. All right guys, so we're inside the 2017 Subaru Outback here. Uh, we're gonna test out adaptive cruise control. Um, now what adaptive cruise control does is it's gonna take into consideration my speed, the speed of the vehicle in front of me, and then also the distance between us. And it's actually gonna give us control here to adjust that distance. So, so over here on the right, I have my regular cruise control buttons here. I'm gonna push cruise control, and that's gonna bring up this little screen here. That's gonna show me my car, and then a number of bars, which indicates distance. Um, so what, it's gonna say ready in that left corner there, and then once I tap down this little lever here, that's gonna hit set. That's gonna then set my speed uh, it's going to allow me to set the speed that I want to have adaptive cruise control. Now, this little button here that has the bars on it with the uh, arrow up and arrow down, that's going to be me allowing to uh, controlling the distance that I want to have between me and the car in front. Um, so I have it set to 65 miles an hour here. Oh, this is perfect. We're going to come up here to a uh, complete stop, so we'll sort of get an idea here of what that's like. Um, I can sort of feel the vehicle starting to slow down slowing down and it's very gradual too uh, and then it's going to bring me to a complete stop and once i sit for about two or three seconds here uh, it's, instead of saying set it's going to say hold and ready there that's saying that it's still saving that number of 65 miles per hour that i have set it's just keeping me here until we're ready to go if i put my foot on the brake which i don't actually have to do it'll hold me there um, that will cancel it and then it's still gonna have it saved there in the system But I will have to hit the gas then to start going um, Again, so we will wait here for a few seconds here and get back up to speed All right All right, perfect get my speed back up here Still set I'm gonna do it to 70 just so I can catch up to this guy here so unlike with a lot of other adaptive cruise controls, what it does is it really is gonna allow me to uh, much more gradual feel. Now, while it's still using the same technology as the pre-collision braking, the difference really in those two uh, is that adaptive cruise control is gonna be a much more subtle braking acceleration. Uh, you know, collision, uh, emergency collision uh, is gonna be much more you know, intense, basically, because it's gonna give you the benefit of the doubt there uh, for you for a while and then if it's like hey you know you're gonna hit this guy it's gonna hit the brakes much much harder than uh, on adaptive cruise control here so uh, the cool thing is is even when vehicles do go in and out of lanes here it's gonna show me the vehicle in front and it's gonna beep at me telling me that it's detected it so that's how I know that this uh, this Honda CRV that's in front of me has been detected and even though I have my adaptive cruise control set to 70 miles an hour now, I'm only going 58. So it's it's not actually braking for me. Uh, it's just cutting my throttle so that I don't hit that. So now if I change lanes here, for example, that disappears, no longer as I see the Honda, instantly it picks up that Saab right in front of me. So now it's gonna do the same thing that it did there, uh, and it's, it's cutting my throttle. It's not braking and riding the brakes constantly. Um, so right now I have the distance set at only two, two bars. The cool thing is is that it knows how fast I'm going and how far I need to brake. So two bars here of, of distance between me and a car in front is different at this speed than it is if I'm going 25 miles an hour. It knows that I don't need as much distance uh, going that speed than I do when I'm on the highway. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna increase the distance here because I'm getting a little close there. I mean, not too close for comfort, but just to kind of demonstrate here. So now I've pushed it to max distance. So slowly it's gonna cut my throttle here and I will slowly begin to get a little bit farther behind this vehicle. You can see it's kind of gaining on me a little bit because my throttle's cut here. And it's just a really, really nice ride. I mean, it's not just good for the highway. It's actually good for you know rush hour traffic when you're not necessarily going to a complete stop, but there's a lot of you know braking and accelerating and stuff because it's just gonna do a lot of that work for you. You don't need to constantly be braking um, when it can basically cut the throttle for you and actually help save your brakes and get you better fuel economy, which is nice. So you can see there's quite a bit of a difference in distance now between me and that stop because I have increased the distance that I want between me and that vehicle in front. 
So now the uh, the eyesight system, we're in an Outback right now. You're gonna get the same technology now, uh, not only in the Legacy, which you had last year as well, but you'll also get this for the Forester. Previously, um, you know, you didn't have, it came on a little later, I think it was maybe 15 or, yeah, it might have been the first year with eyesight for the Forester. Um, so they've really stepped up their game. They've added this, uh, you know, adaptive cruise control. Lane Keep Assist, which we'll actually show you in another video, is another element that they have added specifically for this year to the Forester as well. That was previously just the Legacy and Outback that had it, but really just an amazing feature. I think they've done really, really well with this adaptive cruise control, uh, and it's something I really enjoy having. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, check us out. It's just Groove Subaru on YouTube. Uh, check out a couple of our other videos. We did a, a review, uh, more in-depth of the 2017 Outback, so check that out. Uh, and also check out our video on Lane Keep Assist. See you guys next time on Groove Subaru Today. Thanks for watching.